everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have got a huge, huge haul for us today. Um, me and Tom went to Trafford Centre on the weekend, so we've got a lot of stuff. So we've got quite... There's two items that were really expensive, so I'm going to pull that in the end of the video. Um, but I really hope you enjoy today's video and just keep watching. So the first item that I got was this top from JD, and it's this Adidas top with the stripes um, and it's in a peachy colour and I got this in a size extra small which is a size 6 and I saw Ellie Darby wearing it on her Instagram and I really fell in love with it so I thought I'd pick this up and this was £25. Um, the next thing, the next shop that I went to was H&M and I got this lovely dress. I really really like this dress. Um, this dress is black and it's got some flowers all over it, front and back. I got it in a size 8 and this was 12 99 And I just thought this would be nice for when it's summer and it's hot because it's a really, really light material. Um, or I could use it for work if it was hot in work. So I picked this up from H&M. Um, I went to the body shop and I love the body shop. And they've brought back all the banana range again. So I picked up the Body Shop Banana Truly Nourishing Hair Mask for normal to dry skin. Not skin, hair. <laughs> um, if I just open it, it looks really, really moisturising. So it's just a, a hair mask and it smells amazing. I went to Kiko and I picked up a few new bits of makeup. So I picked up this Waterflower Magic Bronzer um, and it is a gorgeous shade. I got it in 01 Warm Honey and I was just really, really looking for a new bronzer. So that's what the packaging looks like. It's a gorgeous baby pink colour and that's what it looks like inside and it's so nice. It looks a bit darker on screen but it, it's not. This was the lightest colour and I, I've got it on today. And it's just a bit more natural kind of looking for a bronzer and it's got a mirror so this was 14.99 and then i picked up a new brush um this is a under eye concealer brush so i just get it out and this was 10.99 i think it's just a little tiny brush for doing my under eye concealer because my other one that I use, I use for my powder and my under, under eye concealer, but I just thought I could do with a new one. So I picked up this and then I picked up a new mascara. This is the Ultra Tech Plus Volume and Curl Mascara and Sophie Louise loves this one. Um, and I thought I'd give it a go because she really, really likes it. And I think Sophie Does Nails likes it as well. Um, so I picked up this and this was $7.99 I believe. I will check at the end at the receipt but um, and if I just show you the wand it's just a, it's just a bit curved if you can see but I think it's got plastic bristles on as well so I picked up this mascara and then the last thing I got from Kiko was a new foundation and this is the Smart Hydrating Foundation and I got it in the shade Warm Rose 01 and this was £7.99 um, so hopefully this should help my skin um, I have got it on today for the first time um, and it seems to be a really good colour match so I am very happy with that because sometimes it's the match isn't always perfect so and this is a 30 mil. So I got that. And in Kiko they actually had an offer on and you buy two and get two free. So that's why I got four things. So I actually, it only came to £25 um, for all of that makeup, which was a really, really, really good deal. I went to Superdrug and I got a few things from there. So I got my foam burst that I love. Um, I tried a new scent this time, this is the Unicorn, Unicorn Marshmallow by Imperial Leather 
um, and I just love these everyone in my family likes these as well so I picked one of these this was two pounds um, yeah I'm very excited to smell the marshmallow um, I picked myself up a new Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 001 transparent because my other one is very very grubby and I've lost the top for it so yeah it's not very hygienic so I've got a new one and it's running out anyway so I thought I'd pick up a new one that's 3 99 and then the last thing I got from Superdrug was this Advantage Spot Control Treatment Gel from Clean and Clear um, just to help with your spots and this was 2 99 so the next place I went was Selfridges and in the Selfridges at Trafford Centre there's a little Primark bit and it is very very small um, but I didn't find any clothes that I wanted because I only went a few weeks ago but I did find this lovely necklace it's £1.50 and it's just got a diamante circle connected to this other gold circle and it's in a gold colour and this was £1.50 so I really like this because I don't wear a lot of necklaces but I really want to start wearing them so I thought this would be nice so I picked up this so I picked up this water bottle and it has these little gorgeous cactus plants on it and it has a little clip so you can clip it to your bag um, and then it's just got a straw and then this bit to suck out of um, and this was £7 from a shop called Typo um, I think they must have an online shop as well but this was the first time I'd ever seen this shop called Typo um, but it's got gorgeous like notebooks, stationery, water bottles flasks stuff like that and funny slippers as well so i picked up this i went to new look next and i picked up this lovely little white top with these lettuce frills on the bottom and on the sides of the sleeves and the this was at 6.99 and i got it in a size 8 just so it'd be nice to wear with some jeans and a hoodie so i picked up this and then the other thing I got from New Look was a new purse because my purse is quite big but even though it's quite big I struggle to like pick out the the cards on it so I'm struggling every time I want to get my bank card out so I picked up this and the pockets are very very easy to get to in this so this is the card bit inside and then it's just got the, the coin section in the back but I really really like this one yeah, I really like the all the colours together and the stripes and the score detail here and this was 7 99 and the final shot before we get on to the big things I went to Boots I picked up, up some moisturising 25 cleansing facial wipes to take off my makeup with um, these were £1 I think I'll, I'll show you in the end um, so I got some cleansing wipes I got I got these double faced round pads um, for doing my skincare with. So these were £1.39 or something like that. So I picked these up. And you'll find out now because I really wanted to try a new skincare um, routine. Because first of all, I've been really, really lazy with my skincare. And second, my skin is so dry at the minute, like it just needs like all the hydration coming back into it. So I picked up, I picked up the new Neutrogena Hydro Boost range. So I picked up the Hydro Boost Exfoliator Smoothing Gel. And this was seven ninety nine. I picked up the Hydro Boost Cleanser Water Gel. This was also seven ninety nine. And then this Hydro Boost Gel Cream for Dry Skin. I picked up for twelve ninety nine. And it's just show you the part it comes in. And you get 50 millilitres in here. Um, so I thought I'd try this out. So if you want me to test this range in my next video, please let me know now um, in the comments. And then, so that was everything that I picked up from Boots. And then the last two things are the biggest things that we got was this Fitbit Charge 3. Um, I have the Fitbit Charge 2 but recently for the past few months it's just not been connecting to my phone or anything like that and then one day it randomly decided to change the time altogether to like six hours later than it actually was. <laughs> so I picked up this. Um, 
it's the lilac and the rose gold colour. I have got it on now, um, but I'll show, I'll insert a clip. Um, and these are good for managing your sleep, your heart rate, steps, time, silent alarm, stuff like that. And I like using it for those kind of things. So I picked up this and this was £120 from Curry's PC World um, on offer. So that's my big thing. And then Tom's big thing is he got the new Samsung Galaxy watch and this was £279 and that is so much for a watch. But honestly, it is so worth it. Um, I promise you none of these things are sponsored, but it is just really, really cool. So I'll answer clips of his watch as well. Uh, but it is so cool and it's the 42mm one. You can get a 46mm one as well, but for the extra difference in price, I don't think it, it's that worth it. Um, so he picked up this, he got it in black, and it's just so cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he got that. So that's the end of today's video. Um, Tom very kindly actually paid for all of this. So he spent around £500 today, which he's never ever done before. He has saved up um, over the last few months to kind of treat me, which is so, so kind of him. Um, so yeah, so we both got that watch and all the other bits. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.